PE season. Oh, yeah, that's it. Hey, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look at these bad boys right here. This, actually, I don't know what these are called. It's the Air Jordan 5 Oregon. Let me check real quick. And by I don't know what they're called, I know what the internet calls them, which is the Oregon P, right? I don't know what Jordan brand officially calls them. Apple Green, hey. I think that Jordan fighting the internet names of shoes should just stop. Who's gonna call these the Apple Green Fives? I say 05, 06, remember the green beans? I do. Yeah, I had those, they were bad. But these guys right here are sort of a play on the Oregon Ducks PE. Obviously that's a PE, player edition or player exclusive for friends and family and players of the Oregon Ducks, their squad. These are a little bit different. Obviously they have zero Oregon branding on them, so they don't have the big old O on the tongue and then they don't have that dumb duck logo, which I know everybody loves that stuff. I'm sorry, I don't mean anything by it. It's just a it's just a dumb joke. I just don't like it, that's all. I'm not a quack guy. Or is that the thing? Remember Mighty Ducks? Quack. Quack, yeah, quack, that's what quack. that's every time I see the Oregon Ducks, man. I'm just like, they did it better. But these guys right here are real interesting. They are a really nice shoe, actually. The materials and all that stuff, very similar, but not quite the same as these. These were supposed to be the Michigan style PE. Obviously, they did the same thing with each of these things. So they kind of took off all of the Michigan branding and they put on just the Jordan brand branding and stuff, minus the Jumpman on the back, which is usually what's on an Air Jordan 5, unless it's an OG style. So it's got that Nike Air branding on the back. But with these guys, guys right here they put on their collegiate apparel and their team wear stuff that they would put on like the 90s apparel line and I think that's really cool so I really like these I do think that these ones are a little bit better not visually I think that just kind of depends on what colorway you like you know what I mean I think that they both look good but as far as the materials go I like this one a little bit more I also like the toe shape a little bit more uh, it's very uh minor it's not like a big deal or anything like that but this one just it looks and feels more structured definitely more bubbly this one though so so soft man and like you could just see that it's just got that perfect slant and it's so oof, I love I love these man these are dope super soft new buck genuine super cool stuff I thought that's what they were gonna put on these but this is a little bit different this feels it is a new buck but it feels almost like it's waxed like it's got like a weird feel to it like a duck is a duck like that yeah oh to like wick the water away mm -hmm. well, I guess maybe that was on purpose but yeah so that's that's my only real like critique you know what I mean is that I like the materials on the Michigan one a little bit more but that's about it otherwise they're almost the same they could have used a little more yellow I would have liked to have seen like a yellow jump man or something but it's, that's a very small nitpick. I also would have liked to have seen some splatter because we got that on these. And I really like the splatter on the fives. I just like splatter in general. But anyways, as far as these go, check out that bottom. Herringbone traction for the win. Clear outsole. This is the first Air Jordan to feature a clear outsole. Did you know that? I know that now. You're welcome. These are actually made a little sloppy to me. I don't, I couldn't see it in the B-roll, so I don't know if it's going to show up. But like, do you see the little weird ashy looking stuff? Oh, on, they on look the like scuff marks. This is what happens when like shoes sit in boxes for too long. Like at least for mine, like if I, if I don't wear something right away like it ends up looking weirdly ashy and it's kind of strange and it's just weird that it's like that on a brand new pair they haven't even released yet but the midsole itself is polyurethane in the rear we have a visible air sole unit in the forefoot there's an encapsulated one so you can't see it but it is in there the strobel board i did not get any footage of or pictures but it's a standard strobel it's not the board glass that we saw in the og colorway the uh fire red silver tongue whatever and the insole itself is a cheap piece of sh so just letting you know. I don't know if I could have said that a little bit nicer, but it's pretty bad. It's got a nice little lining on it. Same lining that's on the interior, the tongue and all that stuff. Oh, speaking of the tongue, the tongue is slimmed down. Even compared to these guys right here, like where this kind of puffy, the tongue here is nice and slim. So I think again, they're reworking the retro stuff. Every, every drop a little bit different. There's subtle differences. Obviously sometimes they revert where like the toe thing here is not as nice as I, I would like, but the tongue at least is pretty nice. So I think that that's a good sign for future retro products because we'll be seeing obviously some changes here and there and hopefully by the time we see like other OG colorways maybe some more grapes the actual fire reds black metallic fives all that stuff maybe we'll get them done properly this time on the back of the tongue here it says elevate the back of this one says inspire I don't know if these are words that the teams kind of go by like if that's what they use to pump themselves up I just letting you guys know that that's what's on there these are not mine by the way so i will not be doing any on feet but they do fit true to size just like what were they called the bel air the reverse bel air or alternate bel air i don't even know if they were called bel air i think jordan brand renamed those two but we're calling them whatever the internet calls them so that shoe right there these fit just like those they don't fit like the og fives where they were hella big hella big i do like the smoked out stuff like the, the little uh 
netting smoked out a little uh, lace lock thing all, all of it looks great i do think it's a little ironic that the little quality patch quality products inspired by the greatest player ever has this little teeny tiny because this is literally like the only flaw on the shoe like these things are made really really well you know other than like the weird ashy thing i think that's just the rubber but i just think it's mad funny that that's right that's and ironic man i didn't do it i didn't put these together i'm just pointing it out and i couldn't not point it out because every time i was trying to get this cool patch this is my favorite piece of the shoe every time i was getting this b-roll of the patch that's the only thing i saw was that little guy sticking out and i was just like man that's not a good look so yeah there's quite a bit of controversy about these you know some people love them some people hate it they think that it's like a poor man's pe but it's like bro pe's are for players that's why they're pe's you know, if you want those, you gotta, you gotta make some money, man. Them sh** is expensive. I'm telling you, if you want to deep dive into a weird part, like a niche of a niche, because the sneaker world is a niche, right? Footwear as a whole is its own thing, but then sneaker heads are a very tiny piece in that little puzzle, right? And an even tinier piece of the tiny piece are PE collectors. I'm serious. And these guys are hardcore, man. Like, they spend hella money on this sh**. And on top of that, they really, like, you gotta know people that know people the no people like i don't understand how you get a one of one that drake had you know or a mike bibby pe or whatever like you gotta really know some people man it's nuts i think that this is just fine again i don't feel like the organ branding is needed if you're an organ fan in general but why scoff at these you know what i'm saying like why are you complaining about letters just wear your organ apparel with these people will know go ducks and if you really want the pe bust out that wallet man is the tongue reflective it is reflective okay did i not did i not say that I thought that it's like common knowledge at this point. Oh. Fun fact, the first Air Jordan to have clear bottoms is the five. I believe it's also the first to have reflective. It is not the first to have the netting and ventilation. That was the four. Oh, actually, speaking of the five, but not, have you seen the 35s? They leaked. I have. What do you think about those? A little Shaq Gnosis? Hmm? They're so thick looking on the bottom. I know the soles? It's, I know it's because of how the, the plate eclipse is. plate. It looks like it's modified. So it looks like it's real isolated to the midfoot only. And I realize it's just an optical illusion with how like it comes up in cups. But it just it looks like you guys are going to be really high up off the floor in them. Maybe. Uh, the air units in there, it looks like there's the same unit that's in the forefoot of the 34. Also in the rear of the 35 so it looks like you've got two fat f***ing unlock zoom you don't yo like the 34s were a beast on court man <laughs> you might feel like you're about to fly out the gym especially if you can actually jump but i can't i do like all the little callbacks though to the five because the the collar right here is there the tongue is there and then some of the weird uh rounded design thing right in the front it's got this netting oh. like in it right there so i think that the little areas that they like kind of like tributed to the jordan 5 are cool they also have the little tag and that's got the little nike air thing on there i think that they did a slick little job on it and i like all the panels and stuff because that's something that i felt was missing when you had the pretty much the 31s the 32s the 32s had it a little bit because of the back area was so bulky but then the 33s a uh, little bit of the the layering too but still a lot of mesh and textiles same with the 34 this one it feels like a shoe again like there's materials on it and there's paneling overlays i was like wow that's cool you know so i really like it not all the colorways look cool because the ones that uh tatum has in that little picture with him in the mask they're ugly the shack gnosis pair i like i'll probably not be able to get those that's a that's a fragment release i'm excited but anyways these guys released this saturday over at most jordan brand retailers one of which is going to be right here in the sacramento and elk grove area it's called phenom small boutique and that's pretty much it good luck to anybody going after a pair that won't be me but if it's you i hope that you're able to grab one and uh, enjoy them wear them with your organ gear yeah or not just maybe you like green maybe maybe you're a green ranger fan Actually, I want, I'm not going to say anything, but there's some cool shit coming up. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll leave that to myself. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section. I totally saw that, man. You, <laughs> you totally jumped the gun. <laughs> you totally jumped the gun. She was like, hurt. <laughs> Anyways, peace out, guys. Y'all have a good one.